Come catch a Crane Lake fish where the road ends and the adventure begins. Explore the incredible opportunities Crane Lake, Minnesota offers. Crane Lake, the gateway to the vast and unspoiled Voyagers National Park. Start planning your Crane Lake, Minnesota adventure today. Call or log on to CraneLakeTV.com. folks, Roger Cormier for Midwest Outdoors. Back in one of my favorite places to go fishing in northern Minnesota in Voyagers National Park, Crane Lake. And, and you can see why right here. This is my first cast. We got a glorious day, flat, calm. And I'm fishing with one of my best friends, Scott Walsh from northern Minnesota. Get this bad boy in. Nice fish to start her out, Scott, huh? Yeah, nice one. Real nice one. On top water on a skitter pop. Not a giant, but a dandy. Ooh, she's buttoned up good. Look at that. Big smallmouth. We're going to have a ball on today's segment, folks. We're talking fishing in northern Minnesota, Crane Lake. Stay tuned for some great action. This one showed himself, Scott. Yeah? Yep. Feeding on minnows up there on the bank, right in the sand. Is this chasing bait? Minnows jumping out of the water. Fish was jumping out of the water. A lot of them are well done making little bass and are putting on the summer feed bag now. And you want to talk about a fun way to fish. Throwing topwater baits is one of the best ways to do it. We're hoping to catch bass a lot of different ways today. And I also want to talk about the great walleye fishing here in Crane Lake. But we're just getting rolling this morning. And as you can see, we're on a hot bite to start it out. And that's 14 pound Suffolk Siege right there. I like to use mono for my topwater. A lot of guys throw braided line nowadays but I like that extra stretch there we go there we go boy long distance hook set yeah, huh he's way out there I don't, <laughs> I don't think he's real big but come up and gave it a ride oh he's all right they're definitely uh, got a preference for top water right now but it doesn't seem the type of top water really matters a whole lot you know, calm days like today where we fish these gravel flats, shallow boulder and gravel fields where these fish are pulling up shallow. If it was a windier day, maybe cloudy conditions, you might fish off to the edges of points more, wind-blown spots, and we'd fish more with jerk baits, uh, swimming grubs, inline spinners, and things that dive a little bit deeper. But today, it's these shallow gravel flats and shallow shorelines that are producing all these topwater strikes. So they haven't really felt to me. It just keeps running at me. I always slow down a little bit. <laughs> That's a... Yeah, the old skitter walk. Skitter walk holding its own. I want that lure back when you're done with it. Not a chance. I'd like to take a minute here and talk about the Crane Lake area and what a great family and fisherman destination it really is. There's something to see and do here for every outdoor interest. Whether you're on a budget or you want to go more upscale, there's a lodge or resort that can take care of you. There's budget operations where you can go and stay on a cabin on the shores of Crane Lake, or you can stay in a more upscale property where you've got American plan dining, restaurants, lots of great places to eat here in town. There's some great local shops. Uh, there's a marina. If you bring your own boat and you've got any boat issues, they'll certainly be happy to take care of you there. Spectacular scenery here in Crane Lake as well. Really a chain of lakes that you can fish. Crane Lake, Sandpoint Lake, and Namakin Lake on the Minnesota-Canada boundary waters. And you can choose to spend your entire vacation just fishing in U.S. waters, or if you've got a passport and the proper paperwork, you can cross by water and fish the Canadian waters as well. There is a, a Canadian customs operation and U.S. customs operation based here in the Crane Lake area. So something to see and do for every type of outdoor interest in Crane Lake and a spectacular fishing destination as Scott and I are showing you today. Yeah, you know that scatter wrap's got a got a real unique action. It's got that scatter lip on it and it's got a real wide wobble, evasive action side to side and you know more closely imitates a bait fish that's trying to flee a predator. 
you caught the predator. Yeah, that's one of my uh, one of my favorite ways to catch smally early in the year. Um, Pre-spawn, right, right up through post-spawn is uh, shallow cranks, and uh, oh, my all-time favorites is probably a storm wiggle wart made by Rapala, and now this uh, new scatter wrap is is one more little weapon in the arsenal. We're actually motoring down the lake to another spot, and they're blowing up the surface in front of us here. And you see that a lot up in Crane Lake. Got yours? I got mine. Go. Another double header. They're two at a time up here on top of the reef. This reef tops out in eight feet of water. And this gives you an idea how world class this is. Unbelievable. Just nice quality bass loading up on the reef. And that gives you an idea what Crane Lake is all about right there. Coming to the boat two at a time. There's a pile of fish right there. Yeah. Now, you fish all over northern Minnesota, but I know you love Crane Lake. This is still one of my favorite places to come and fish uh, big smallmouth, especially in the spring. Folks, you can make Crane Lake a favorite spot for you to go fishing in, too. If you go to the website on your screen, cranelaketv.com, or give them a call at the 800 number, they're going to send you out a packet of information, give you everything you need to know about vacationing in Crane Lake, Minnesota. Folks, with Scott Walsh, one of the best friends, I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors. Let's keep fishing, bud. We'll send you another one right now. <laughs>
uh, mono on here just because uh, throwing the top water it's nice to have line that doesn't uh, sink like fluorocarbon helps keep that bait up a little bit. Suffolk siege. Yep. You want to talk about a fish that wants to eat a top water Let's just see, hold them she, like that. She got it. She got her. She's not hooked terribly. There it came. She's not, I was going to say she's not just hooked, not hooked terribly deep, just kind of in a funny spot there. Here's the board for you. Let's put that one on the, on the judge and see what we can see here. Oh, that's a biggie. 18 and a half. The fish is pretty, it's deeper there than it looks. I think that fish, I think that fish is bigger than it, than it even looks. Got her. What was a big Nice one. Good thing Minn Kotas are tough. <laughs> be right on the nose there. All right, we're getting right up onto the bank. A little VMC, a little black hair jig. Got a little mylar in there for a little extra color. Another dandy. That bad boy go. Or girl, I should say. Take a moment to talk about Crane Lake as a destination. You know, Voyagers National Park, right on the Minnesota-Ontario boundary waters. You can choose to fish just the Minnesota side of the lake, or if you get your passport and your proper paperwork, you can cross by boat from Voyagers National Park into the Canadian waters as well. You got three main lakes that you can fish: Crane Lake, Sandpoint Lake, and Namakin Lake, and a wide variety of choices for destinations up here. You've got a houseboat operation, fly and fishing, canoe outfitters. There's lots of fishing guides if you like someone to take you out on these lakes and show you the local tactics. There's a marina if you bring your own boat and you've got some motor issues you can certainly check in with them and get those taken care of and there's a number of great lodges both affordable housekeeping accommodations on the shores of Crane Lake as well as some more upscale properties that offer you know fine dining American plan dining and very nice cabins here in the shores of Crane Lake. Minnesota Canada Boundary Waters, Voyagers National Park and awesome fishing destination to check out. There she is. You got her. Nice one. Ooh, that was fun. Yeah, that was a nice one on the hair jig. Just flipping to individual boulders. Boy, just a bronze, real nice bronze fish too. Scott actually saw this fish come around that boulder as we went by it, and he threw his flutter worm up there and came around and rolled on it. And then we couldn't see the fish anymore. We realized she's on the back side of that boulder, basically just hanging in the shade. Let me come back here and grab her. There we go. Yeah, nice fish. Mm, chunky really one. Really nice right? fish. Look at how bronze, this beautiful color. You know, I'm gonna say well done spawning. You know, the back is in yep. real good shape and no uh, damage to the fins or anything, but that's what coming to Crane Lake is all about right there. We've had a great time today catching smallies. Oh, absolutely, huh? absolutely. <laughs> A lot of fun, folks. If you'd like to experience Crane Lake, Minnesota, Voyagers National Park, trophy smallies like this, as well as multi-species action, come up to Crane Lake in the summer and have a ball. CraneLakeTV.com, or you can give a call to the number on your screen for more information. With my good friend Scott Walsh, I'm Roger Cormier. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors. Come catch a Crane Lake fish where the road ends and the adventure begins. Explore the incredible opportunities Crane Lake, Minnesota offers. Crane Lake, the gateway to the vast and unspoiled Voyagers National Park. Start planning your Crane Lake, Minnesota adventure today. Call or log on to CraneLakeTV.com.